The first night of the Democratic National Convention in Chicago was jam-packed with speakers. Democrats incredibly excited by the Harris Walls ticket, with the crowd giving multiple standing ovations. ABC's Jacqueline Lee is in the United Center with what unfolded. Day one of the Democratic National Convention was kicked off by a surprise appearance by Vice President Kamala Harris, thanking Joe Biden. Joe, thank you for your historic leadership. A deep bench of Democrats, from the new blood to the old guard, all appearing on stage. Reproductive rights on full display with families impacted by the overturn of Roe v. Wade giving testimonials. I can't imagine not having a choice because of Donald Trump's abortion bans. The crowd going wild as former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton took the stage. It still takes a village to raise a family, heal a country, and win a campaign. Despite her loss to Donald Trump in 2016, Clinton says America kept its eyes on the future and drew parallels between her own campaign against Trump. He's mocking her name and her laugh. Sounds familiar. <laughs> but... We have him on the run now. Yeah. President Joe Biden taking the stage at the end, welcomed by a four-minute standing ovation, brought to tears by his daughter's introduction speech. I love you. Biden defending his nearly four years in office while making the case for why Harris is better than Trump. He's promising a bloodbath if he loses in his words. This sucker means it. No, I'm not joking. Biden praising Harris's character and celebrating the new Democratic ticket. She'll be a president we can all be proud of. And she will be an historic president who puts her stamp on America's future. The Trump campaign heads to Detroit today with Harris hosting a rally in Milwaukee. And later tonight, former President Barack Obama as well as Michelle Obama will be taking the stage. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, Chicago.